What would you take if I just bought all of them? Would you do a deal if I just bought all of them? It depends on how much you're offering. Morning. Good, how are you doing? How much are your hats? Oh, they're 50 cents a piece. Okay. You can dump them out if you want to see what's in there. I don't see a sign, but I, I assume you're not just seeing that. There you go. <laughs> don't worry about the change. Oh, okay. Appreciate Thank it. you Have very much. Have a good day. Much. Morning. Okay. How much is your science fiction set? Oh gosh, I don't know. Five bucks? Let me think on it, I'll keep looking around. Okay. Never used it, huh? Never used. Would you take 10 for it? Sure. All right, I'm gonna get your CDs here for five. So I get 15. So if you're in the cooking. There you go, thank you so much. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. Is this self-propelled? Yes, it's self-propelled. Self-propelled, runs, runs awesome. It comes with the bag. It does need new tires. What's the make you take on it? What are you offering? 40? <laughs> no, we won't go. What is the DNA Helix? Oh, it's a, it's a model if you've ever watched the Big Bang Theory TV show. It's uh -huh. kind of an half feet tall. Oh, geez. Yeah, and it's, it's an plastic. accurate representation of what a DNA wow. Helix looks like. It's like, it's super detailed. Interesting. Yeah. Where did you get it? Uh, my son ordered it off of some kind of science website because uh -huh. he wanted, he saw it on TV and he wanted that model. Gotcha. And don't even get me started on what he paid for. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, he was, a, he was like a, a super, kind of a super uh, science geek at the time. Are these comics back here a dollar each as well? No, the ones in the back are um, two for a buck. Got it. The ones in the plastic are a dollar each. What would you take if I just bought all of them? Would you do a deal if I just bought all of them? It depends on how much you're offering. And uh, we'd have to, I haven't even thought of it that way because, but we'd have to count them and, and I mean, it'd have to be, It'd have to be pretty close to around that figure, if, but if you wanted to buy them all, I mean, I'd, I'd talk to you about it, but I, I haven't, honestly, I haven't thought about it. Um, I didn't know if anyone would, would be interested, but yeah, if you're, if you're seriously interested, I mean, we could count them up and, you, you know, you'd have to tell me. I mean, it's my, it, it's my son's collection, and I mean, honestly, I mean, he spent a lot of money on this kind of stuff, more than he probably should have. He's now in the in the Marine Corps, and I'm just trying to like sell it. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to make a lot of money, but I don't want to fire sale it, you know, type of thing. But yeah, if you if you if you're interested and want to, you know, come up with a deal, you know, it had to be something. I, I mean, I, we I go through it and we'll, we'll count them, and you tell me what you're interested in. Before we count them all up, how many, like, what's kind of your price per comic you got to be at? Well, this is, I mean, these, these, I really was thinking about, a, honestly, a dollar a piece. Gotcha. Because, I mean, a lot of these, I mean, just now, you know, I mean, these aren't me putting these on. 
I mean, some of these, you know, he bought them at comic book store. This was years ago. He paid like 10 bucks for it, as an example. Most of them don't have um, prices on it, but I mean, he paid, I'd say on average, he probably paid about $3.95 a comic. And this was when, you know, he's in his late 20s. And this was when he was, you know, it was probably like he was 13, 14, 15 type of thing. So I was honestly thinking a dollar for these are really kind of fair. You know, that, um, you know, you know, I put 50 cents each. I mean, I'd maybe come down a little bit on this. I'd come down maybe slightly, but not, not much more than under a dollar. Because I think, honestly, I really do think these are fair. If somebody is interested in comics, um, these things are in, are, are honestly in pretty decent condition. Um, so kind of near this, maybe I do like, you know, like three for a buck or something for these, okay. you know, type of thing. So, but I'm not going to like do it like a quarter. Of yeah. Yeah. Or sure. Yeah. Like that. All right. Thank okay. you. All right. Yeah. If you want to come back at the end of the, the you know, End of the thing, we can always talk. All right, have a good day, thanks. I went to a handful of garage sales today and I just did not find much. But what I did find, I went ahead and pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. Got this vintage hat for the Columbus 500. Paid a dollar for it. Saw one sell for around 20 bucks. Any kind of vintage racing hats that I find with patches, I always pick those up. Got this Radio Spirits Science Fiction Old Time Radio Shows. They had some random CDs in here, but I did confirm that all of the original discs are in here. I paid five bucks for this. I only saw a comp for a new one. I didn't see any used ones. The new one brought like 50 bucks or so. So I think I can get 25, $30 for this one. I got this killer vintage picnic basket. It's wicker on the base and then wood on top. This, the brand is Redmond from Peru, Indiana. I paid two bucks for this and sales comps are around 25, 30 bucks. Problem with these is they're so big that it usually costs more to ship than they actually sell for. So they're kind of a tricky sale on eBay. I've sold a few of them over the years, but they usually take a decent amount of time to sell because of the size. People see the, the sticker price on the shipping and they're like freaking out. Like, yeah, I don't want to pay $30 to ship this thing. But yeah, if you can get these cheap, pick them up. Um, they're great for, you know, antique booze, things like that, but they will also sell on eBay. Best find of the day is right here. Uh, it's a, um, uh, rotisserie carousel sunbeam new in the box the box isn't in great shape but all the original packings in there paid ten dollars this thing's going between like 60 and 100 bucks i'm editing this footage from this garage i went to last week and i realized that i didn't say anything about the sale i went to with those comic books i don't do a lot with comic books but in my experience all of the ones he had like 80s and 90s buck a book is pretty average on what you can expect to get even like resale value if you're running them like individually on whatnot you might get two bucks a book sometimes three but i didn't see anything special in there so that's why i passed on them um i've done a lot of big bulk buys of comic books in the past and i usually like to beat around like a quarter a book something like that because i'm probably going to try to offload them in bulk and maybe get 50 cents a book for them something like that so i always tread lightly on deals like that because 
he was wanting me to make an offer, but I was just kind of letting him kind of talk a little bit more and really get a good feel of where he was at. And it seemed like he wanted to be really close to that dollar mark. So I didn't see any sense in even insulting him with an offer of 25 cents a book. So my advice, whenever you're at these sales and you're wanting to negotiate a big deal like that, get as much information out of the person as you possibly can, because then you'll get a really good feel for where they're at and if there's going to be any kind of common ground on a big deal like that. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.